guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. And I'm really excited about today because I'm going to be talking about some authors that I want to try out this year. So first up, I am probably going to lose my bookworm license for saying that I haven't read her books yet, but she's been on my list for a while and I have quite a few books that I can choose from depending on my mood. But that is Toni Shiloh and this is book one in her Faith and Fortune series that she indie published a couple years ago. I do have the full series. Um, and they're short little rom-coms, so what's nice is that if I get in the rom-com mood, I can just binge the whole series. Um, but I also do have her To Win a Prince and In Search of a Prince books, so I also have those available to me. So again, I have a lot of her books in my arsenal, but she is definitely an author that I want to try out this year, and I will. Next I have Aspen Hadley and this book is Blind Dates, Bridesmaids, and Other Disasters. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this and again another short rom-com. Uh, it just sounds like a lot of fun. I love the title and I love this cover so much. It's a lot of fun. Again, know nothing about it. Can't necessarily recommend it but I have all of Aspen's backlist or I think this is one of her first book. So I have all of the books she's published so far other than her newest release. So I have options. Next I have Annie Sullivan on my list. This is Tiger Queen and this just sounds super cool. Um, the tagline is sand in her veins, blood on her sword, a kingdom in the balance. So this is a fantasy. I do have a couple of Anne's other books that she wrote um, but this one is just gorgeous so I wanted to show it um but yeah I definitely want to get to one of Anne's books I've had the honor of meeting her a couple years ago I think I think it was when Tiger Queen was releasing um and she's just an absolute doll so next Ashley Townsend one of my dearest friends she wrote a series the other books are read up there um but this is book one in the series it's called Rising Shadows and it's the Rising Shadows trilogy and I just really want to read her books so she's a priority for me. Next I have Mary Weber. I have a couple of her books. Um, to Best the Boys I just wanted to show this one because this cover is super gorgeous. Next I have Jenny B. Jones. This is So Not Happening which is book one in her Charmed Life series. She has since redone these covers and I kind of like those more. Um, so there's a potential that I might buy new covers. We shall see. But I know that my friend Audrey loves Jenny B. Jones. And I know that she is a was a huge name when I first started like in the book world. But rom com -y type YA stuff wasn't really my thing at the time. No! the rom com type stuff is. I do want to try her books at some point. Again, might not necessarily be the Charmed Life series, but Jenny B. Jones is on my list. Next is Caroline George, and she wrote Dear Josephine and then The Summer We Forgot. Vastly different. <laughs> and then she has a new book coming out this year, and that one sounds like it's going to be really good. So at some point I want to read something that she has published. She is the sweetest person. I love interacting with her on Instagram. Um, it's been an absolute honor getting to know her and I just, I love her to pieces. So I'm really excited to read her work. Next is my doll Susie Finkbeiner. Um, I have a bunch of her books that I can choose from and she has a new one coming out this year. And I think it's like baseball. It's like all American girl or something like that. And the cover I'm obsessed with, I don't know what it deals with, but it's by Susie and I really like the cover so I will probably buy it at some point, but I do want to read one of her books at some point this year. Next is Grace Hitchcock. She is kind of new on the scene. She wrote, okay, 
New is probably not the right term, considering the fact that she has written an entire series with Bethany House, but she is new in my head. <laughs> and I don't know why, because she's not new. Um, but she wrote with Barber for the True Crimes, True Colors, True Crimes series that they did, and then she signed with Bethany House and came out with this adorable series, and this is the American Society series. I like American Royalty. That's what the series is called. The covers, it just gives me major Jen Toronto vibes, which, if you know anything about me, I love Jen Toronto. And I think Jen endorses. Yep, look at that right there. Right in front. Jen Toronto. So you know it's going to be good. So at some point, I do want to start this series. Um, and read something by Grace. I know that she has also stepped into the indie world and has indie independently published, I think, a Harvey House something or other. I think that's what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm pumped. I'm all, I'm all about finding a new historical author because it's my favorite. Next, again, something my reader card might be taken from if I say that I haven't read this yet, read from this author yet, but uh, Denise Hunter. I have a few of her books. I was sent one of, actually this series, um, by a fellow reader and I'm super excited to finally have some of her books on my shelf and to give her a shot. I know that people have loved her work. She has a ton of books um, and I did have the honor of meeting her last year at Fiction Reader Summit and she's just so so sweet. So I'm really excited to try out her books as well. Next is Erin Mangum. I know, I know, Celestria, Lindsay, I'm so behind the times. I'm sorry. But I finally got my hands on some books by her. Um, so yeah, she's on my list of authors to give a shot, give a try, try out this year. Next is Melissa Tag. Please don't shoot the messenger for saying, I'm telling you, most of these authors have been on my list for a long time, and I just, for some reason, haven't picked up their stuff yet, but I'm going to work on it this year. I have a goal. So, Melissa Tag, I have a bunch of her books. Um, I think I have almost all of her books, actually, because, again, I try to find books when they're cheap and just pick them up, and that is how my library has grown exponentially. Next is Kara Isaac. And I have quite a few of her books as well. I know that she stopped writing um, for a while, when her, but I'm not sure if she picked up writing again. Um, but I do have quite a few of her books to try. Next is Rachel Decker. I keep saying Rochelle anytime I talk about her because in my head this spells Rochelle, but I'm pretty sure it's Rachel. Um, so... Yeah, if anybody knows how to properly pronounce this, please let me know. But I have had her on my list of authors to try for many, many, many eons. And I have quite a few of her books, and I just, for some reason, haven't picked them up yet. But I, at least I have options, you know? It's my goal to read at least one of her books this year. Then I have the beautiful Jillian Bronte Adams. I have the last series that she wrote with Enclave and then this book, this chunk. This is book one in her Fireborn epic series. I think they're working on book two currently. Um, I haven't heard of a release day, but I could just be behind the time. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. But I do want to try her work at some point this year. And then, last but not least, I have technically read one of her books, um, but it was a novella that I read for Christmas, and I do not count that because I didn't like it. <laughs> and I'm hoping that was just because it was novella length. So I'm gonna give it a different. I'm gonna give her a different shot, saying that I've never tried her out, saying in a full length novel will give her the benefit of the doubt and give it a shot. And that is Jenny Proctor. Um, she is a clean romance. She's not Christian fiction, um, so I can't necessarily guarantee if there's any language in any of her books, because again, haven't read any, um, but I know that her books are closed door, and I have a quite a few of her books as well. 
and so yeah I want to give them a shot in full length novel and not just Christmas novella. Those are the authors that are on my list that I want to try in the year of 2023. Um, there's quite a few but I have quite a backlist so it's not like I'm necessarily saying these are the books that I want to read. I can only read these books. No, I can pick and choose. I have a lot of them and it's just kind of when the mood strikes me I want to at least have try, tried a book by at least one book by all of these authors by the time 2023 is over. So that is one of the light goals that I'm giving myself. <clears throat> Nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Let me know in the comments below if you have read anything by any of these authors, what books I should start with if you have, and what author is on your top list to try out in 2023. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to chat with you. Don't forget you can check out my blog at for the love of Christian fiction .com. You can check out my Instagram at for the love of Christian fiction and all my links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!